Hello, today we're going to talk about how to learn PLC programming at home the right way. If this is your first time on this channel, I invite you to subscribe. Hello, my name is Paul and I'm with Logix Magazine. And there's three benefits that you're going to receive from running the six building blocks to learning how to program a PLC at home the right way. And we're going to get into that right now. All right, so the three benefits are, like anything else in your career, you have to think that what you're doing today is building the foundation for something. Let's assume, let's assume that what you're doing today, just for argument's sake, what you're doing today is all about getting you practice for later on. Let me give you an example. If you ever want to be a hundred percent, say a level three, level four uh, PLC programmer, then you have to be really, really solid on the basics. The only way to get solid on the basics is to have a good foundation and high level repetition. You have to do it a lot. All right, that's what what you're going to get get today. You're going to have a very good foundation. And it's sometimes very difficult because emotionally we're learning things. We're taking online courses. We're playing around with it at home. We're a little insecure though, right? I mean, to be honest, we're a little insecure if we're learning what we're supposed to be learning, when we're supposed to be learning, and, and you know, what all there is to learn. It's a very difficult position being new trying to learn at home, all right? But I'm going to give you a foundation so that if you do these six things, you will build a very solid foundation and you will know that what you're doing is right. All right. The other thing is what you start doing right now. So let's say, say you take these six building blocks and you start implementing them right away. All right. They're going to pay off when you go to look for that job. They're going to pay off later on in your career. So what you start, the building blocks you put in now have a residual uh, benefit for the rest of your career, all right? So you won't be doing something now and then abandoning it because, oh, well, I'm a senior engineer now. You're going to build use these six uh, building blocks to build your career all throughout your career. So that's, that's the great thing. You know, no waste of time here. The other benefit that you're going to get is I guarantee that these work. These six building blocks will build your career. Okay, they will help you find that job, land that job, keep that job, and level you up in that job, in your whole career, all right? So those are the three benefits. Solid foundation. We're not going to waste any time. These building blocks will build on themselves throughout your career, and they're guaranteed to work. So that's what you're going to get out of learning these six building blocks to uh, programming, learning programming at home. And this is how I believe, this is what I believe is the right way to do it. All right. Okay. So, so before we get into that, let me share with you what I think some of the wrong ways of doing it is. And that happens all the time. And they are that often, um, uh, people who are learning PLC programming, they will sign up for multiple courses at the same time, all right? And they don't complete any of them. Uh, two, they do not interact with the uh, instructor of those courses um, very much during the course, and they do not maintain a, a relationship with them after the course, okay? Very important. Uh, three, they don't um, build, they don't do the homework adequately enough. If they do the homework at all, it's the bare minimum. You should be doing the homework and asking the instructor, in my opinion, for a lot more work. All right? All right? So, so that you can really grow. You should really dive into it. Um, and these are just some of the, some of the things that I think are done wrong. I think one of the other things that is done wrong is you, you do, 
you kind of do it alone and you let your own insecurities, your own indecision, your your lack of, of knowing what to do get in the way of growing and, and improving. You get stuck and all of a sudden you're done. That's it. You quit too early. And that those those are how you how most people who learn PLC programming start and the mistakes that they make. All right. We can do better. You can do better. And I'm going to help you do that here today. It's exciting. I'm 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 excited to share this with you. I've never really shared this with anybody um, outside of some private clients. So it's exciting to get it out in the public. And I'd like to get your feedback uh, as to what you think. But I, I happen to know for a fact that these six building blocks work. I'm going to share them with you here right quick. So let's go ahead. We're going to use a little graphic here to help help uh, help us get through this material. Okay, so building block stack here. It's a stack of blocks, but building block one, right? Okay, so is pair. What's what do you mean pair? Pair. Find a what? Find a friend to practice with. Okay, so what do I mean by that? I think it's obvious. Here's the thing. A lot of people will take up training, a lot of guys in particular, they'll take up training, they'll try to learn it and do it all on their own, right? All right. I kind of learned this from taking um, computer science classes uh, online and in college. Um, uh, it's good to partner with somebody and share. Like if you take a big project you're going to work on, each of you should work on different parts. And the next project you switch who's doing what different parts. Let's so say you got an HMI, a PLC, right? Um, and or different routines within the project. You want to work together and and learn and and collaborate uh, collaborate between um, between each other or with each other as to uh, throughout the project. It makes learning so much easier. Now I'm going to be the first to tell you it's going to be hard to do. A lot of people aren't. Um, you're going to find a lot of people may not be as committed as you are. They will start and train with you, then they'll stop and they'll quit, and then you'll have to find somebody else. Here's my point. When you can find that really good partner to pair with, um, you're going to find a, a, a symbiotic kind of relationship where you're just working on projects, you're working through it, you're answering each other, you're doing some research, you're really working at a professional level. It doesn't matter how complex the program is, all right? In, in in many ways, you're working at a professional level, okay? And that's what you want. You want to be able to work with people, discuss things, be open and honest, say, hey, I know this, I don't know that, or, hey, what do you think about this? Do your work, have them do their work. Each of you check each other's work. It is a great um, training tool. A building block. You want to be able to pair up with somebody um, and work together, um, and it makes it makes learning so much easier. Let me give you an example. Um, happened all, all the time in high school, and, and when I was in the Marines, um, uh, guys would pair up in order to weight lift. I spot for you, you spot for me, and it was a great way. And and we struggled then with the same thing as I'm. You're going to struggle with here finding somebody who's going to stick with you. But you know what? Continue doing it. Continue looking for that. If you have to go online, if you whatever it takes, um, find somebody to pair with. All right. Okay. So that's building block number one. Okay. Building block number two. <clears throat> Peers. What do I mean by that? Well, find a group. Well, let's make sure I get this in here. Ah. Let's move this out of the way. Find a group of PLC professionals. So here's what I say. There's a there's a ton of groups on Facebook. There's a ton of groups on, on online. PLC Talk.net is one great group. Um, but there are there are literally thousands of 
automation and POC programming groups online. Find a group of people that you feel comfortable with. Um, and some groups, they're a little, they're more high level and they tend to be a little more, you know, standoffish. They're working, talking in a language. And you're just not at that level. Find a group that you could feel comfortable with. Um, because what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get some feedback. Okay. From them. You're going to want to, um, you're going to want to interact with them, ask questions, all kinds of feedback that you can get from them, right? So you're going to want a, to find some peers, some people that um, have high level, but has some people that are new as well that can help. And you can send a private message or an email, create a relationship with them. And you can, you can do some collaboration and, and, and ask questions back and forth. And that's what you really want to do. It's very important. If somebody was telling me they're learning PLC programming at home and they're not active members in um, a POC programming or automation uh, group or a couple of groups at least, um, I would I would think that they're not going to survive. They're not going to last long enough to learn enough to be able to land a, a good job, a good opportunity. That's just my opinion. All right, so next one. What do we got? Next one is, and this should have been number two, but you want to build a portfolio. Okay, uh, what is a portfolio? Samples of your work, plain and simple. You want to find somebody to work with. You want to build projects. You want to ask some of your peers to review your projects, get some feedback, ask some questions, right? Um, and this portfolio you're going to build, you're going to keep it for the rest of your life because it's going to be your 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 resume in a way it, it does include your resume but you really want samples of your work a large collection of them um and it should be work that you've done all the work for okay now you should have programs that you and your your uh programming partner has done has built but um you work together while pairing right but you want some programs that all the programs in your portfolio should be work that you have done Right. Separate that. Now, don't be afraid to show uh, a prospective employer some of the work you've done uh, with a partner, but make sure you clearly identify the two, that they're different. Um, very important. All right. So portfolio samples of your work. All right. So now we're into um, building block number four. Right. OK. Um, now. Projects. Well, let's go back. Projects. So, in projects, um, what you want is to put together a variety of these projects. Now, it's very important that you have you have HMI work, that you have uh, uh, some sort of CAD work, that you've got programming have you done anything with mathematics have you done anything with data have you done anything with languages uh, multiple languages uh pid have you what type of work have you done now it's a shortcut i'm going to give you the shortcut it says this is exactly how i would if i were to start over again I would uh, start over. And it's the exact advice I give every new PLC programming student. It's very simple. Get really, really, really good at the fundamentals. Right? Build a template. And then 60 to 70% of every program you ever build. You know, off the top of your head, it's solid and it's it's repeatable. You you can pull it out, throw it up, and write seventy percent of a program in no time, right? But it's not just a template, but it's a template that you can break down, and anybody can qu ask you any question about that program, and you have a very rock solid template. That's seventy percent of it. Because you want to focus your other 20, 30% on the more complex elements. So uh, build a really good rock solid template. 
be very, very good. Be able to build that program off the top, all, I mean, virtually off the top of your head. Do it over and over. High level repetition. There's no shortcut. High level repetition. Over and over and over and over until you know that solid. Inputs, outputs, uh, back checks, uh, faults, HMI faults, you name it. You've got a rock solid program, right? 70% of it. Then from there, and, and I'll tell you, there's a video that I produced, um, uh, the 23 algorithms every new PLC programmer uh, should know. Begin by building that, that those algorithms and have them down pat, have them solid. Use that as your template and then build it over and over and over so you have a lot of repetition. Then start working on the higher level. And then we talk about that a little bit, the higher level. Um, it's very important that... You have, when it comes to projects, you have this. Don't build a variety of uncoordinated material. Be very um, logical about how you're building it and what you're working on. Because this is what you're going to put in your portfolio. This is what you're going to ask your your um, your um, peers. <laughs> couldn't remember that word your peers to review and get their opinion from. You don't want to somebody send it to send it back to you and say, yeah, it's pretty much junk. I don't know. Uh, yeah, could it work? Yes, but it is definitely not a high professional level. So you don't have to be a grand expert to get your first opportunity, but you want to be solid. You want to know that you know what you're doing, all right? You want them to know. It. You need to know it first, then you want to be able to, to Sit down, have an intelligent conversation with somebody and demonstrate that you have competency, right? Okay, so projects. We want a variety of projects, right? So we want something that has temperature, something that has volume, right? We want uh, something that has some data, some mathematics, things of that nature. So those are the more mid-advanced level, right? Have that 70%, some mid-advanced level type projects here. And you'll, you'll be ready, ready to go. But that's good, good, solid material right there. Okay. All right. So, um, our next, um, okay. The next building block is now I call this program because I want to keep in the P's, but, um, all right. So, this would seem simple and obvious, but you need to have access to the software, to programs, right? So what I recommend is this, that you take you take your online courses, right? You take the course material, you build the material that they say. At most of it, I think all of them now, all the good ones, they'll give you a certificate. But really, you want to acquire some intermediate to advanced programs as well. Not too complicated, but some some intermediate stuff. And if you ask your instructor, they they know exactly what to, to send you. It's not too complicated, but it would level you up so that you can start looking at it and studying it and getting familiar with it, right? But in order to do that, really, you need access to the software, right? So, uh, and, and you're going to need access to it for more than 30 days. 30 days is not enough time. So I, I have a I have a solution for you. Besides spending the eight hundred dollars to get the minimum um, Rockwell Automation RS Logic five thousand software, you know you can spend a thousand dollars on it, or just short of that. Um, MyPLCTraining.com has a great um, setup. But I think it's like 37, 40 bucks. You go over there, you get the real software for as long as you pay that membership, 37, 47 dollars a month, each and every month. You pay that membership. Um, and, and you will have access to the software. Uh, I believe it's only our, um, Rockwell, but you'll have access to that software and you can do, take the training course. You can use the software. You can put other pro, I mean, it's a real actual software. So you get a, a temporary license with that through his company. So it's a great setup. Um, I, I really recommend uh, my PLC training um, 
Com is a great resource to get access to that software on a regular long-term basis. Hey, truthfully, um, once you do that and you start playing around with it and you have access on your laptop, go pay, go pay, go buy the software. Go pay for it, go buy a, a stripped down version, uh, $500, $700. Now just remember, there's versions where you can just view the software programs and there's the editing. All right, so get get the uh, the entry level editing so, uh, software um, when it comes to RS Logics and when it comes to Siemens, they have a entry level option as well with a little hardware. Um, and so I really recommend spend a little, little bit of money, save it up, spend it, and get it. All right, you need access to that software. Just there's a, you need regular daily daily access. To it, okay. All right. The last building block to learning how to PLC program at home, learn PLC programming at home the right way. All right. All right. I call this the PC, and that is you need hardware. All right. So I could have done these a whole bunch of different ways, but. I think it doesn't matter how which one of these blocks you have first or last. You need all six of them. There's just no shortcut to it. You need all six of them. So you need hardware, right? So just like that, rather you get a compact logics, you get a microcontroller, you get something. You need to have some hardware. You need to practice wiring it up. You need to build some, do some bench top work. Um, and it's very important, and you should not shortcut yourself. Look, here's the thing: you get a you get a sensor, cheap sensor from Automation Direct or whatever, right? You get some limits, you get a limit switch, you get some basic elements to wire in. You practice a few things. You might level up, you know, and try to do some some pids. There are some there are some uh, hardware simulators that that will help you in your programming. So there's just a whole lot of stuff you need to do some bench top work. All right, that is that is an absolute, in my opinion, an absolute must to become. Now, now don't get me wrong. There are companies that hire people to do PLC programming only. They are not hardware integrators at all um however i believe that um if you leave that company you're going to find out that very 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 few companies um are like that so you're going to want that hands-on experience with hardware and there's just in my opinion there's no shortcut to that all right so in my opinion these are the six important building blocks to learning plc programming at home the right way all right so um if you have any questions i would appreciate you posting that down below and uh, let me know what you think of this video and if you have any suggestions i'm i'm all ears all right so until next time have a good day